Hey, what's up all you poker peeps and welcome back to some more Pokemon Shuffle on the Nintendo 3DS. This is part 49 of a series so far. We've almost made it half a century and we are still going strong. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. Actually, I just told a lie. I've been playing this game every day. I've been grinding a lot, but I just haven't really been keeping up to date with all the updates and stuff like that. So uh, this should be pretty interesting. I mean, I've stored quite a few coins now. I did actually make it to just under 10,000, but I did actually end up wasting a few just trying to um, get S ranks on certain levels. So I do have 8,900, which is enough for three great balls in this episode. We also have the opportunity of getting an extra life with the street pass. But before we do try any of that, I guess we'll just check in and uh, see how many coins we are going to be rewarded with this time. Hopefully the thousand, because I'm pretty sure I've actually checked in at least 10 times since the last 10 since the last time, and um, we got that bonus thousand coins. But we'll see here. Actually, what I do know is, is the Pokemon of the day is actually back, and yes it is, a thousand coins for us, I guess it's my lucky day. Alright, Celebi's still here, Daily Pokemon are here, yes, as I said, and the competition that you guys probably know about, the Binet, um, that's still going on, I haven't really fared too well in that competition, but maybe if I'm feeling lucky, if I'm feeling good towards the end of this episode, I'll give it another go and hopefully get my hands on that Mega Stone, so now I guess we'll go back, way back, and uh, you guys know what we're doing at the moment, we're actually going back in time and trying to catch all the Pokemon we missed out, and if we get an S rank, I guess that's just a bonus, but I'm not really going to spend my time trying to get S ranks here, I'm just going to try and capture um, all the Pokemon. So there actually was one, I think it was the, the Teo, um, if I pronounce that one correctly, it should be around there somewhere. Um, no, wrong one. Yeah, I'm a little distracted right now, I was actually just watching, I kind of am still watching, trying to multitask here, I was just watching Jennifer's Body. I mean, I mean I'm not really into horror films, actually, to be honest, I'm not into horror at all. Um, if you guys um, know of Holly, she's a huge fan of like everything horror, which is kind of why I tend to watch some every now and then but this is actually kind of a creepy film I mean it's not as scary as most films but it's just so weird it's kind of the stuff that's going on right now I'm actually watching it right now as I'm recording this video which is probably not um, wise thing to do as we're trying to focus on this game but I guess I'll go back to that in a moment and uh, get this first move underway so as you do know this is very early on in the, in the game level 36 to be precise and we have five moves to get the job done okay this is gonna be tricky so Let's not take anything to, for granted. I'm going to drop down. Actually, I don't think that's going to work. Um, damn, there's too many things to go with. Um, Alright, we could go for the line of four right here. I mean, even though this is early on in the game, you want to try and beat this with as little moves as possible because it actually does make a huge difference when it comes to capturing the Pokemon. So, I guess we can go... Articuno, where are you? Um, you're there. <laughs> We'd rather you are somewhere else, but I guess... This no, that's not gonna work, is it? Damn, I'm thinking too much right now. Um, let's just make a move quickly. Uh, I guess we'll just go with. Uh, I'm gonna regret this, but we'll go with it. Okay, I'm not gonna regret that sweet first move, and we killed it off. Oh shoot! Yeah, when you hesitate too much, it's, it usually turns out to be a good thing. Well, with me anyway, I know in some other occasions it could backfire, but a pretty good start so far. I mean, not exactly a great start. If we get the capture here, then it's a great start. We have 94%, which is pretty much guaranteed. I mean, in the past, 80% really hasn't been guaranteed for us, but 94 has got to be... I thought it would be. Seriously, I thought that would be. We can top it up for max and um, go with the Great Bull. I don't really think it's worth it because... I mean, one move, we killed that off, 94%. I don't really know what it's going to take for us to capture that, but never mind. I guess we can attempt this one right away. Yeah, I don't really want to have to do this, but I guess we've got no choice here. We're trying to capture them all. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. How, how do we not capture that Pokemon? I'm actually mind blown right now. How do we not capture that Pokemon? Ah. Oh. Alright, well... Uh, I'm going for like a similar move from the last time. I doubt this is going to be as effective as you can see. But um, if we can kill this off within the next move, we should have a another decent chance of getting the job done. Uh, we need to switch around an Aerodactyl from somewhere. Um, I can't really see any opportunity. Uh, okay, I guess we just go with that. Alright, victory. So we did two moves this time. But the funny thing is, we may actually get the capture here, even though we did worse this time round. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this one goes. No, oh, it's been a long day. I can't really prepare myself for any kind of failure. I mean, if we get a majority of the Pokemon in this episode, I'm going to be satisfied. Alright, 
That's ideal also. And there we go. 88% is enough, but 94 wasn't. It's all about luck. You never know what's going to happen. But thank goodness we've got the capture. So we got three lives left. We do have... Actually, we got the street pass. So I'm going to quickly check in now. And uh, see how many lives it's going to give us. Usually it just gives us the one. Um, but it's giving us two this time. So back to five lives. And I guess we can keep going strong. We're 30 coins away from the lucky 10,000. It's been a while since we've had that many coins. So that will actually give us four chances of the Great Ball. So we'll definitely attempt some expert levels in a moment. And we'll go with this one. The, Z the Zora? Is that, is that right, guys? Anyway, 15 moves here. We've got the tools. And we're diving in. Okay, so we're recording at a fairly decent time this time around. It's, it's 11.30 p.m. Usually I'm recording after midnight and I'm actually super, well, I was super tired. Last night I couldn't get to sleep at all. I, 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 okay, I actually tried to go to bed quite late, 1.30 a.m. I actually didn't fall asleep to around just past 3 because I listen to the radio every night while I'm sleeping. So it actually told me it was it was 3 a.m. at the time and I was still awake. So And I think I fell asleep just after that. Fell asleep at just after 3 a.m. Woke up about... 6:30 a.m. So I got about three and a half hours sleep. No idea why I woke up so early. I had no reason to be up that early. I couldn't even get back to sleep then, so I decided to get up, have breakfast, and um, sort a few things out. And then I actually had two breakfasts because I woke up so early. I ended up having breakfast twice. I got really hungry at around 10 a.m. as well. So um, I'm living a a terrible cycle right now. So get to sleep on time, guys. I've told you this before, but you'll pay for it if you keep on having these late nights. Anyway, I guess we'll. Uh, get back to Pokemon Shuffle and see what we can do here. I guess we're going to try and get Lucario involved. If we can drop down there. Hope we can set up like a line of four or something. Okay, didn't really work out as I planned, but I think it actually worked out a lot better. Alright, we're off to a pretty decent start. I uh, will switch you two around for a nice little double combo. Alright, so far so good. And it does have a countdown, which I wasn't really um, paying attention to. But we're off to a fairly good start, so not to worry all right now things are starting to look a little tricky i guess we'll go here lucario we'll try and get him going mega next match with him will have us going mega hmm yeah quite a few options here i'll stick with that one so with levels like this you want to try and beat him within I think it would have been good to beat this one in 5 moves, leaving us with 10 moves remaining. But I guess if we go one more, it shouldn't really be too bad. It shouldn't really punish us too much. So I see what I can actually come up with here. I can't really see too many good options. Yeah, I'm going to have to improvise something here. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is probably the best thing I had in mind. Nice little drop down there. We could almost wrap this one up. Not quite, but next move should kill this one off. Um, and we're going to go. I don't really think about this one too much. I'm, I'm actually quite confident this is going to be enough. Okay, now I'm going to switch things up because I just saw another move. Um, I'm going to go here. Please be good. I think, this, I think this will be enough. I did say I want to do this with at least six moves maximum and we did just that and hopefully we can get our second capture of the episode so we're kind of like nearing the end now i know we've like come across every possible main level we haven't come across every ex level and speaking of ex levels I actually unlocked a couple in my own time so i'll show you guys those in a moment if we do fail this capture i probably will just go with the great ball because we do have a few um, attempts of that and yes we're gonna have to go with the great ball here i mean we don't have to but i'm gonna decide to anyway so uh, 2,500 coins, there we go, another 30 coins, and it will give us um, that third one we were dying for. Would have been four, but we're using this one, of course. So 74% is enough, thank goodness. Alright, sweet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly check in a moment, S rank as well, um, how many Pokemon we've caught all together. There's 180 main levels, there's apparently around 20 EX levels, expert levels, and the statistics tell us that we have caught... 157 Pokemon. Number of stages cleared 192. Alright, sweet. So we're making super progress. A few more episodes and we should have this one. I mean, not really a few more episodes um, because sometimes we do tend to fail a lot. I do actually end up cutting the video quite a bit, which I apologize for, but I don't really like to have too many failures in one episode. I did take the first one as it was kind of um, 
weird how it happened. 94% and still, still can't go over that. But never mind, at least we've caught it now. So up next we have the Ivasaur here, Generation 1. Maybe the second Pokemon on the Pokedex? Bulbasaur, Ivasaur. I'm not really sure what... Does it start with Squirtle? I don't even know anymore. But it's definitely in the top 9, so... Free move level. I, f I guess we'll just go with the Great Ball if we, if we have to. And the Mega Pokemon, actually it doesn't even matter what Mega Pokemon we take because we're not going to be in the turn Mega anyway. We'll go with this team, we've got the Heat Round if you guys remember, we actually caught the Heat Round as an expert Pokemon a few episodes back. Maybe the last episode, and here we go, three moves in total. And I can see my first move already, it's pretty simple, it actually always starts this way. We'll switch the Needle Queen with the Aerodactyl and it should almost get us the victory. Next move will definitely get us the victory and that next move is going to be... Do you know what, I'm going to try and play this one tactical because I'm actually not too confident that we're going to get the win here. So we'll go... Uh, I don't know. I don't know guys. Um, I just had it in my mind, now it's gone. Nido Queen, there's no match with Nido Queen. I mean there's one but I don't really think that's the best one to go with. I mean next week you should probably just wrap this up anyway but I do feel kind of worried. Um, so, sorry guys. Yeah, like I said, I do think too much in these sort of scenarios, but it's all for the best. It's all for the best. Alright, okay, I guess we'll go with this. Or we'll go with this. And that is enough. There we go. So we actually have to use two moves for that one. I don't think it's possible to do that one in one move. I mean, maybe if you grinded enough, then it would be possible. But for the scenario I'm in at the moment, I don't think it was possible. But anyway, I guess I'll try that one again in my own time. 7% up to... 22%, 44% doesn't really sound great, but I guess we'll go with the Great Ball if we have to. I've been grinding a ton and I'm willing to grind a lot more, so that wasn't enough, so we'll go again, leaving us with 5,000 coins. Sweet. Whew. Do you know what? I wasn't even confident about that at all. I mean, we're less than 50%. We've got a rank A, which is kind of disappointing as we did use the Great Ball, but I guess we'll try that one again later on or maybe i'll just do it my own time so moving on all right you may actually notice i've got a lot of s ranks here as you can see i was told to get the gensect genesect um not really sure which one it's pronounced as but um you need to actually get an s rank in 180 levels to unlock that pokemon I f it may be an expert type pokemon i'm not really sure what it is but if i had to guess then that would be my guess so up next we have um let's keep on going Everything's done here. The set, no, the Grovile. Yes. Okay. Four moves. Rank B. Ugh, I don't know about that one. I guess we'll dive into expert now, and then we'll hop back in to uh, something else later on. And these are the two new Pokemon actually just unlocked as an as expert levels. Levels 18 and 19. We have the Bazernius, if I pronounce one correctly. Sorry about this, guys. I know I'm getting a lot of the names wrong, but we have the Yavel tool, which I believe I pronounced that one correctly. I'm quite confident about that one. And these are going to be some awesome additions to our team. I mean, we just caught the Dragonite. We, unfortunately, we haven't really used it too much um, ourselves yet. I guess Dragon types aren't really effective against too much, but they're just really powerful. It's got 80 attack, which is um, definitely the strongest base attack we've had so far in this game. There's the Heat Round we surprisingly got with like 2%. Catch video percentage, we managed to capture that somehow. We got a rank B. And I guess for now, we'll go with... Um, uh, let's see. I guess we'll go with the Venusaur. One minute on the clock, we got a rank A previously, and Aerodactyl, we'll go Slowbro here. I feel quite confident about this one this time around. I mean, we do have the Great Ball as well, so this should hopefully be a breeze. Here we go. One minute on the clock, guys. Apologies if I don't talk too much, I'm just trying to focus. That's all there is to it. This one actually, this one actually starts off really tricky because it does block a lot of your moves, but you have to be quick here, guys. You can't really afford to waste too much time. Not with just this level, like with all of these kind of levels, it's very important to just like keep on um, making like any match you see, because otherwise you'll pay for it. And I think we're doing fairly okay. I mean, I probably could do a few things a little quick here, but we've taken off almost half of his health here, so I'm not going to complain too much. All right, sweet. So we've got a lot of leafy on here. I'm not really sure what he's doing here, but he's kind of helping me keep the ball rolling. Okay, I'm not making any matches there. I was just all doing its own work, which was very, very ideal. Uh, we drop down Needle Queen. I just destroyed a really good match there. And another good match. 
uh, Nido King come back. Yes, and victory is ours with 20 seconds remaining. We did really well that time. Not sure if it's going to be enough for a rank S, but hopefully enough for the capture. Oh, man. I'm trying to speed through this game now. Um, I probably will record again tomorrow. Not sure when I'll upload it, but we did get 31% catchability. We can boost that to 62. Yeah, I'm trying to get these videos rolling in quick because, yes, we've got the capture. Because Puzzles and Dragons is actually releasing on the 3DS. Um this Friday. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video so apologies for that but it does come out on the 8th of May and that's actually two days away from when I'm recording this right now so I'm very busy right now so we got the Venusaur which is awesome. We'll quickly check out his stats in a moment because I do actually forget to show you guys the stats of all these Pokemon. We've got Blastoise, Venusaur and Charizard. We've got everything here. I mean we haven't really got S ranks. I did just get an S rank on Absol in my own time. We need to catch the Zapdos which is... he was pretty tough. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. We will give this one a go. And before we actually do, we'll check out the Venusaur. Level 1, 60 attack. Charizard here, 60 attack also. We haven't used any of these Pokemon for ourselves. It's never actually the recommended Pokemon because they, we've got stronger Pokemon. Which is kind of disappointing, but I guess I can grind with these if I um, choose to. They may actually have decent abilities. It leaves the foe burned, so he's got the burn ability. Venusaur has, does more damage when the opponent has more health points left. Could be very useful. And uh, they're some of our like later editions. I'm not really sure what else we caught. We have the Heat Ran, which I'll try and find now because he does look tough. I'm not really sure how tough he is, but when we every time we optimize, he's always there to be used. So he must be pretty tough. All right, where are you? Heat Ran. What generation is that? I know some. Sometimes I just choose Pokemon by. The, oh wow, 83 attack. He's as strong as Dragonite. Yeah, sometimes I just choose my favorite Pokemon just by their looks, not really how effective they are. But his ability is last ditch effort, attacks do more damage when things are looking desperate. Okay, that could actually be very useful because a lot of the time I am looking desperate. So we'll go with Zapdos here. Uh, Lucario, you're gonna have to sit this one out, buddy. We gonna actually, do you know what? We need something that actually fills the Mega Bar quite quickly. So Lucario does a great job of that. Aerodactyl is not too bad. I guess we will stick with Lucario actually and uh, see how this goes. Thank goodness we'd have to rely on a Great Ball for that last level. We'll see what happens here though. Oh yes, I remember this one. Bad memories, bad memories. Okay. Lucario, come down here. Jolteon, why are you always here? You're not effective. Oh my god, panicking, panicking, panicking. Guys, we got the victory. Nine seconds left. Sweet. See, when I'm doing these levels, I don't even look at the top screen. I don't even want to look at the health bar. I just keep on going until that, until the victory sign comes up. All right. And it actually does affect you when you're tired, like me. Oh man, 31%. That's that's pretty good. We can boost that to 62. Identical to the Venus Source situation we were just in. Is 31 going to be enough? And thank goodness it is. We are two for two with the expert Pokemon. We're off to a okay. This this episode actually started quite disappointing, but it's actually turned around and things are looking brighter than ever. So that's two expert Pokemon out of the way. Next up is the Moltres, which is also a legendary bird. We got rank B the last time we attempted this, and we have one minute on the clock. What else do we have to try? I mean, we've got some cool stuff here like Sceptile, Blaziken. Speaking of those Pokemon, they are actually the new faces of the Roaring Skies Pokemon Booster sets, which I will be unboxing very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that, guys. I will actually be doing a lot of Pokemon stuff on my channel in um, the following weeks. I don't know why I've done a lot of Pokemon recently. I guess it's because of Pokemon Shuffle. I kind of put Pokemon um, Rumble, whatever it's called, Super Pokemon Rumble to the side, the 3DS um, free game to play. I haven't really been playing much of that game. I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, I've got a ton of stuff to, to finish off, such as Bloodborne, um, Tales of Hearts R on the PS Vita, Pokemon Shuffle, uh, Mortal Kombat X. I know it's a short game, but still, I haven't even completed that game. It's like two hours long, so I'm kind of in like a, a horrible situation right now. N never get overloaded with games because it's such the most painful decisions to make ever. And then you got the anime as well, so too much going on right now. And then there was one life left. Where shall we go from here? I'm gonna go back to a main, guys. I feel like we should probably save those ones for um, future episodes. But we'll go with something more recent. Uh, maybe such as the Togekiss. Toke Kiss, sorry. Nine moves here. Do you know, I actually got a slight flashback of that. That was actually really tough. I think we had to rely on some sort of stat boost there. So we're gonna leave that one out. We've got the Skarmory, the Caesar. Uh, what else we got here? 
Leafeon, we got you. The Pidgeot would be pretty sweet. I guess we'll go with this. Do we have the tools? Yes, we do. 50 moves. Rank A was our previous score. Let's see how we fare here. Pidgeot from Generation 1. One of my favourite bird type Pokemon. I remember when playing the red and blue games and the yellow game. This was always one normal type Pokemon I always went with. They never considered the flying types then, they were just normal types. I always went to capture this Pokemon, no matter how bad or useless it may be in battle, I always went out to capture him. Obviously from a Pidgey, then Pidgeotto. And I don't know, I just always cared for the Pidgeys, I don't know why. But uh, hopefully we can add this to our party, so we'll start things off. Definitely going to go with... Actually, you know, we could actually save that move and... Yeah, where can we actually... Do you know what, I'm going to go with this. And we got the Articuno there to still match up. Yes, it's still there, thank goodness. This was the one I was hoping to keep there. And we can actually make a nice little double combo here. So I think we played that one quite smart. This is a pretty tough bird, so we have to be careful here. Remember, we do have the Great Ball in case it's necessary. Hopefully it won't be, but uh, you never know these days. So I guess we'll switch. Okay, we can't really make any combos with the Articuno, so we'll just go for the switch. We do have the Ampharos on, the Ampharos. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> you should know by now I do struggle, but I think. Do you know what? Change a plan. Change. Actually, no. We're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with that plan. We're gonna stick with that plan. Uh, we'll go for the little switcheroo here. Oh no, we didn't really make any combos there. Uh, let's see. I'll go for a little safety move here. We'll just go for the little drop down. I'm not sure how effective it's gonna be. Slightly better than I imagined. So not all that bad. And we can go for the... So many options around now. I guess we'll go with this because we can make a double match. We'll drop down the Ampharos, um, get the Articuno going. And I think within the next two moves or so, we should have this one done and dusted. Thank goodness. The countdown is coming in, so we need to actually wrap this up pretty quickly. Sweet. Come on. Can we do this in the next move? We should drop down for a line of five. Nice. Okay, not the next move, but this is the final blow. There we go, we did it with six moves remaining. It actually took us nine moves in total. We just, okay, now we get a big combo coming in just as we wrap things up. And we turn Mega. Alright, this, this episode is actually going on quite longer than I expected. I mean, compared to some of my most recent episodes, I mean, kind of like speeding through them. I guess when you're tracking back, things are a lot easier, so it tends to fly by a lot quicker. But this one's been kind of smooth sailing. I've enjoyed this episode quite a lot. Hopefully you guys have too. 49%. We can actually double this to almost 100%, which we will do right now. This will be 98%. And that should be enough. Pidgeot, you are coming home with us. I am confident, guys. I'm calling this one before the capture is settled. 98%. I think it's actually the highest we've ever had. Okay, maybe not. We've definitely had max at some point. But there we go. Rank A. Oh, God. I think that's what we just had before as well. So we didn't get the S rank we wanted, but we did actually get to end things on a good note. So there we go, guys. That's going to be all for now. We're out of lives. So um, that calls it for this episode. Hopefully you did enjoy this one, guys. I want to finish watching Jennifer's Body. I kind of forgot I was actually watching that. I got so sucked into this episode, but I totally forgot. But I guess that's a good thing overall. So until next time, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. See ya.